Okay, guys, welcome to Conan Exiles 2022 Beginner's Guide. I'm Super Dave, and remember, it's never too late to do the wrong thing. You can subscribe to the channel for other Conan Exiles guides, but I don't want this to be a 40-minute video, so let's get started, guys. When you first get into Conan Exiles, I'm going to ask you to build your character, and none of these options are going to matter. You can pick whatever you want except for religion. Religion's the only thing that's going to play a factor um, if you guys are doing the uh, basic map to start off with which as most of you are doing and I recommend you do uh, to learn the game you have a bunch of different relig religions to pick from and they give you different bonuses now I would actually recommend doing it mirror because it is the hardest to learn later on uh, you can actually use these early game um, too uh, but you can actually learn all of these religions once you get playing, so it doesn't matter it, what one you pick to start with. Ymir is the hardest one to get uh, to go to go learn, so that is the one I would recommend. Okay, when you guys spawn in, you're going to notice on the top of your screen, you're going to have that white bar that is your XP to your next level. As you see, it just jumped. Your red bar is going to be your help. The yellow bar is going to be your stamina. As you can see, uh, the next one down over there, the water droplet, that is your water. Next to that is your food. And the circle next to that is your weight and how much you can carry. And the last one is your temperature. Now on the top right, guys, is your journey steps. You can open that up if you want. You can kind of see more. But it is a good starting point on to how you guys are going to actually complete the game. It kind of gives you the next step. So as you can see here, uh, we can go ahead and climb something here to get the climb one done. And you can see that actually gives you XP as well. It's a very good way of leveling up. All right, and down on the bottom right hand side, as you can see uh, the controls and the buttons. Don't ever forget about that. That will help you out quite a bit. Now, when you open up your inventory for the first time, the left-hand side will be what you have in your inventory. Um, and the right-hand side is the stuff you can craft. So, example, we can craft a shirt right now. So, we'll craft a uh, shirt to help us with armor. Our next tab over is going to be our attributes. Each stat has something that helps you, and it will tell you at the top. So, I don't want to get into that too much. Also, when you hit them certain tiers, you get extra bonuses, so keep that in mind. When you are early game, I definitely recommend a lot of vitality and strength and encumbrance. And you can put add points just by going down here and adding them just like that. Your next one is your feats. These are basically how you learn to craft stuff. So as you can see right here, we can learn how to craft a storage box. In our stats, this is what our stat bonuses are going to be with um, anything that can change your stats, including armor, um, war paint, uh, stuff like that. This is the journey steps that we already looked at before. Here is your clan and what is all in there. I wouldn't worry about that too much early on if you're new to the game. This is your list of followers and this is the map. Okay, when you spawn in, you're going to start here down at the bottom of the map. What you're going to want to do is get to this water as quick as you can after you get some armor and tools. Um, and you want to get up here and build a bedroll just like this. And you'll be able to place that when you get up there. Okay, when you do make it to the water, you can drink the water just by hitting your interact button down at the bottom. For us, it's square on PS5. And what you can do now is place your bedroll somewhere on the shore so you got somewhere to respawn. And you can do one of a few things, guys, and I will show you uh, a few of them here as we go. But anyway, one thing you can do is use the fighting in the game, build a basic tool. You're probably going to die a lot if you're new to the game, but every character that you fight in the game or enemy you fight has a certain animation it does, so you can actually go ahead and dodge and you will never get hit by them once you get a good rhythm. Now, right away, it's going to be hard for you to do, but it is a very good way to level up. 
and don't worry about dying as you don't have much here also another thing you guys can do is build a base very early on um, I highly recommend that because that gives you somewhere to store items and a place to come back to another good way to get a leveling up as you can see we'll put this away here and we will do our kick uh, right here there we go you can do your journey steps to get XP on the top right that is a very good way uh, to get XP as well another good option for you guys too is uh, you will see eventually if you've discovered the areas you can see we've discovered the broken highway and the shattered bridge you can actually go around and explore the map now these are very dangerous areas but as long as you are sprinting and running, almost nothing in the game can keep up to you. Especially if you don't let your stamina all the way drain and you just continue to walk a little bit. You'll gain stamina much quicker and you can climb stuff to get away from them dangerous animals and creatures. And other, play or, and other players if you are playing PvP. Okay, as you can see on this character here, I have a bunch of the stuff learned are uh, explored and uh, these are all XP that you get uh, a few things to note too right away if you see a big um, temple or something like that kind of looks like that but purple glow around them run up to them and hit square later on you'll be able to use that to teleport they're called obelisk and for you starting out there's some basic resources you should know about there's trees and rocks obviously and sticks and stuff that you do know about from playing just games in general but this is what iron looks like right here as you can see there and a uh, coal will look a lot like this just very black guys uh, them are probably two most early game resources to get in the game and as you can see where I am on the map this is actually one of the best sources of iron completely on the map and actually right here is a piece of, or a coal node right here if you can see so it does look like a normal rock it is just blacker all right your next basic component of conan exiles is to tame guys or animals now you have to find a guy out in the wild, a fighter or whatever it may be, knock them out and then drag them to a wheel of pain here, guys. Um, this is also, uh, there's different versions of it. There is a, a couple smaller versions of that as well. And also each one of your religions is going to have a uh, kind of a monument like this for the different things you can get from the benefits of your religion. Um, another thing to add over here is for the animals and or horses. Uh, for example, this is a horse stable. You can go ahead and uh, find a baby animals or buy them from some traders and then put them in there, put their food that they like in there and then they will eventually tame up for you. You can place them down and fighters and pets are a very good way to uh, progress in the game as you can see there are some pretty good guys most guys like the fighters are going to be your best bet now there are a few different versions of thralls for example there are the fighters and the archers that help you fight but then there are also these guys that you can tame and help you in your benches they are uh, they'll help you with your recipes, give you different recipes, cheaper recipes, and better recipes. Um, so they are very important as well. Okay, a few thing, uh, other things to tell you guys about too is if you walk around, sometimes you'll see notes or notebooks laying on the ground. They'll definitely, a lot of times, give you either lore in the game or you will learn something from them. So keep an eye out for them. Also, too... Um, as you can see, a very important mechanic is down at the bottom. You can see the purge meter with my handy dandy blue arrow. And what that is, is when that meter gets full, you have a chance to get attacked by a bunch of either creatures or P, uh, wild thralls or whatever it may be. Um, now, the more north you go, as with the whole game as an entirety, 
the harder they get uh, for you. The ones in the south you can basically do by yourself. Later on, you may want some help if your base is up here. They do get pretty tough when you get into these this northern region here, folks. So a lot of things will make that purge meter go up. Uh, if you are a very active tribe and you're playing quite a bit, uh, any building or fighting or exploring, a lot of it will actually take it up, just activity in general. Now, if you don't play for a couple days, it will actually go down a little bit for you, and that will help you out. But honestly, the purges are a very good way to get good thralls or level up. Uh, so I always try to get them as quick as I can. All right, if you run across animals like this, that have these skulls right here. That means that is gonna be a very tough boss, as you can see, and my character is fully leveled up, and he took me down quite a bit. Okay, just to explain a little bit on them bosses while I'm not getting chased. Um, the three skulls are world bosses, and the one skulls are corrupted bosses. The three skull bosses, as you probably soon, are harder, and as you can see on here, um, I do play official servers. This is an official server, 3535. So I am trying, or I actually do give you the correct information. I'm not a person that just plays single player. And okay, we folks, as you can see, uh, it is coming close to night, the end of the video here, guys. But if you guys do like Conan Exiles and you do end up playing it more and more, we do play a lot in the, the game. And just remember, uh, the game right now is in a currently a buggy state, so if you do run across some hiccups, just keep that in mind. We also play a ton of survival games on the channel, and you are definitely more than welcome to come join us. I'll leave some playlists down in the description for you guys. But anyway, hopefully this helps you out, We and have an amazing day, guys.